most compassionate, the most merciful, all the praise and thanks are due to him. And peace and blessings be upon his beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I think you all uh, are receiving uh, in the last few hours, a few days, you know, the concept of all of us, we have to do Nusrat in Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now the word Nusra is a very comprehensive, big word. It covers the meaning of giving victory. It covers the meaning of support. It covers the meaning of love. It covers many meanings. Now, the reason why I'm saying what I'm saying, some people they say, now Nusrat al Nabi is just follow his Sunnah, which is true. But just once you follow the Sunnah, khalas, your job is finished. Some people say, no, 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 you have to go on demonstration. Some people they say, no, 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 you have to boycott the French product. So let's fix a misconception. All of these things are good deeds. But on top of all of these things, do we know who is Muhammad? The first thing, let's, let's make benefit of this incident to recheck our knowledge. Have we read at least one Sira book about our Prophet Muhammad as Muslims? If we don't, please, let's make the opportunity to have a look, at least I and my family, to one book like al rahiq al-Makhtoum for Mubarak Furi. This is one of the great books about Sira. Fiqh al-Sira lil-Buti, al-Sira lil-Munir al -Rabban. We have many Sira books. You ask any scholar in the Pakistani community, in the Indian community, in the Arab community, depends on the language that you read, what you trust, whatever, the idea. Let's have an idea about our dear Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, number two, what is the point of having an idea? If it's possible, please, the parents, the fathers of the kids, if you can control them, Jazakumullah Khairan. Now, uh, the most important thing of knowing Muhammad, is it for the sake of knowing him? And that's it, khalas. He was sent for a purpose. He is the representative, if I may put it in this way, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He came a messenger to deliver a message. The core point of his existence, basically, to deliver a message. This message, basically, contains do's and don'ts, contains good and bad, contains yes and no, contains do and etc. So basically, first of all, before we discuss anything, we need to know him, then to follow his path, not just his sunnah. Because some people, once the word sunnah is mentioned, what comes to the mind, the short dishdasha, long beard, the siwak, which could be part of the sunnah, but they stop by these things, which is a big disaster. <laughs> this is 1000% of the path of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came with a huge system for humanity, for life, contains regulations, teachings that covers every aspect of life. When we say follow the sunnah, it's not just to do, do tasbih after the salah, and it's not just to pray the sunnah after that. No, no, no. All this part of the religion, simple small parts. It's a system of life. This is two important things. Then after that, now, is it good to boycott? Yes, if this is what you can, for the sake of Nusrat Muhammad, for the sake of empowering Muslim Ummah, sending a message, unfortunately, unfortunately, 99.9% .9 of our leaders in the Arab Muslim world, they don't care of Prophet Muhammad. They don't care of our religion. So at least let's send a peaceful message. Yahya, please, please, Forget what I'm saying. Peaceful message. Peaceful message. I lost peace in my mind. No peace in my mind. I'm not able to consider So, you know, because I mentioned our leaders, you know, even when you mention them, you lose concentration. Now, 99 of our leaders, you know, unfortunately, they, they don't care. And you can see that. Okay, let's show that we do care. This is a peaceful message of protest. This is a peaceful message that don't hurt us, even though they deserve more than that. Our leaders, 
should do something diplomatic. They should, you know, stop any kind of diplomatic things. They should bring their ambassadors. Unfortunately, we don't have, because we don't have elections, Aslan. So they don't represent us, Aslan. <laughs> but at least, now they say, you know, you know, what will benefit, you know, lavash kiri will do that. It's, it's not the lavash kiri. <laughs> no, it's your attitude. Can you do this? Have you done it? Yes, Jazakallah khair. Not, why not? <laughs> So this is the point. So any website, can you translate? Can you say something? Are you, do you have a good personality character when you speak? You can write, you can translate. Some of us here in this masjid, maybe we have three or five languages. We can write and read. Okay, am I just reading, enjoying the time? No, go and translate, please. Go on something. You receive something, for example, in Urdu, and you are very fluent in English, translate it. Or uh, vice versa, <laughs> okay? You see something very powerful in English, and you speak Urdu, you speak Punjabi, you speak Arabic, it's whatever, translate it. Writing something, do something for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not a matter of boycotting some product, it's a matter of highlighting how important our Prophet is for us. It's a matter of indirect way to let others understand what does our faith mean for us. And I call you, if you have a time, tomorrow, inshallah, there is a very good, nice, peaceful protest, protest uh, in front of the French embassy in Toronto tomorrow between 2 and 4. A group of your brothers and sisters, they organize that. If you have time and there's nothing stops you, please do your best and consider this is sadaqa for the sake of Allah. Because when they have, when they see numbers, okay, they will know that really they are hurting us. You are living in a place where you really, you can express. If Unfortunately, he thinks that freedom of speech is to insult our Prophet, at least simple part of freedom of speech to tell them by being there that really you are hurting us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us and let Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and the religion of Prophet Muhammad, and to be honest with you, if we want to dig in deep, our core point is not Prophet Muhammad. Our core point is what? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we love Prophet Muhammad because Allah has chosen him for us to represent the guest. So actually, it's not a matter of a person. No, 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 no. By the way, Prophet Muhammad, if he was not a prophet, he's just a normal Arab person. <laughs> what made him something big for us is the fact that Allah has chosen him to be the prophet. And we were told that he is the best of the creation. So actually, we are glorifying Allah by supporting the cause of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam